been waiting for this all my life. You know how lucky you are, Amir? It's a miracle. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> I was not prepared for what occurred. I'm Don Thompson Morelli, AKA Don T. I'm the sister of Amir Questlove Thompson. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> well, now you know where they came from. And today, I'm gonna to be reacting to my brother's experience on finding your roots. Charles Lewis, age 60. Maggie Lewis, age 50. Joseph Lewis, age 11. You just met your third great-grandparents. These are your people, this is your blood. Would you please read where your ancestors were born? Oh my God. <laughs> I, I just remember thinking, get to it, get to it, because I couldn't figure out what the laugh was about. You hit the jackpot. Oh, man. And then I get it. According to the census, Questlove's third great grandparents were both born in Africa. This was an extraordinary find. How do you feel? <laughs> I said I wasn't going to cry, man. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know who I was or who I came from. It was so moving, that moment, because my brother had not expressed those emotions to me, the longing of knowing really who he was, and not just him as my brother, but him as a black man in America. On Monday, July 9th, 1860, a ship called the Clotilda arrived in Mobile Bay carrying 110 African slaves. It's the last known slave ship to come to America. Your family settled less than two miles from an area, Amir, you ready for this? Known as Africatown, which was founded by survivors of the Clotilda. I'm, I'm frozen, man. You know, every African-American that we know wants to know where in Africa they came from, and then how they came here. You are the only African-American I've ever met who could name the ship. Wow. I'm on the absolute last ship that ever came here. Yeah, wow. I'm overwhelmed with the entire story. You know, the, the, the fatefulness of the idea that it's the last slave ship and the maverick spirit it takes to be uprooted and to, from that, land yourself and thrive, creating a town and a community. I had to believe that it is that very piece of the reinvention and the reimagination and the creativity that traveled through time to land at, you know, myself and my brother and, you know, my mother. Questlove now knew more about how his African ancestors came to the United States than anyone I've ever met. I never imagined this in my entire life that I'd see this. I feel sad, I feel angered, I feel confused, I feel lucky. Through the entire thread of the story, I could feel the wonder of it all and the, ah, this is why I'm me. This is why you're you, Amir. When I trace us back to the Clotilda, I think that was a very unique people. That's who we are. That's our foundation. <laughs>